Howdy. Can you tell us a little bit about this interesting Kentucky document that you brought in to us today? Uh, certainly. Uh, this has been in my, I'm a collector of Kentucky things uh, through the years, and this is a document that I acquired probably 20 plus years ago. Uh, the provenance that went with it is that it had been found or located in a trunk that had been passed down through the family directly, and then the last descendant died, and when they opened the trunk, there were a couple of things that Daniel Boone had, um, uh, had, had inscribed or had written, and this one being a, a survey that he had mm -hmm. done. So I've had it for about 20 years, and it came directly through the family. Well, that's exactly what it is. It's a survey for some land here in Kentucky, 227 years old, done in 1787. This was when Boone was kind of at the end of his career mm -hmm. doing survey here in, in Kentucky before he moved on to Missouri. Um, it's all written out in his hand, it covers the land for Mr. Douglas, uh, 896 and a half acres. Um, I think some of the things in it, uh, of course, you've got a wonderful signature of Daniel Boone here. Uh, two of his sons served as chain men on the survey right, crew and right. worked for him, and that's an interesting little touch too. But I'm, I'm particularly attracted to some of his spellings. Um, you would measure land from the nearest water point to the nearest tree, that type of thing. In here, he's got crick, and that's spelled C-R-I-C-K uh, instead of creek, uh, right. down by the creek. <laughs> and he, then he was going to the Kentucky River, and that he has spelled C-A-N-T-U-C-K-E, which is a very unusual spelling <laughs> in Kentucky, but that was his spelling of it. So we'll let him do that. Um, this could be part of the reason that I think he ended up with some issues around some of his surveys. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's very true. Yeah. Although this one is a legitimate legal survey yeah. and it was done as such. Um, just a wonderful piece done, done in Boone's hand uh, with his signature on it, as I said. Um, I would want to get it verified by a Boone expert. There were a number of forgeries of his signatures over the mm -hmm. years, but everything on this one looks right to me. The watermarks on the paper are right from the time period. The ink is the right type of ink from the time period, and the signature looks good, too. Okay. So I tend to think it is a true and original Daniel Boone document. Um, do you remember how much you paid for it when you acquired it? Uh, probably somewhere around a thousand dollars or so which at the time was a lot of money for me but <laughs> well you might have stretched then but that was a really good investment okay, um, good. <laughs> historical documents by Boone are relatively rare uh, he is certainly the most famous of all Kentuckian uh, you go around the world everybody knows Daniel Boone they may right. not know much more about Kentucky but they at least have heard of Daniel Boone um, a document like this written in his hand would have a retail value today of about twelve to fourteen thousand dollars oh really yes ma'am well, I didn't do too bad then, even though I no. stretched way back. No, you, 20 yeah, years that ago. was a good stretch. You made a good stretch. <laughs> oh, back good. Then. Well, that's a relief. I was fearful you might tell me, you know, that I got taken. No, so. very, very desirable. Good. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.